Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on applying the, te the textures to the 3D models which a few of you guys have um, requested so it's about time I actually did it. So I'll get straight into it. Uh, the reason your meshes models, in other words, do not have textures on for those who do not know, it's because the directory of your textures folder has changed and that will be because you've downloaded it and it's found a new directory on your computer or as simple as moving the folder to let's say from your documents to your desktop that's how simple it is and that's how I'll be, that's how I'll be showing you now as you can see um, I've got a slender model here so if I move the texture folder to the desktop that will now make my model textureless, as we'll soon see when I open this Cinema 4D file. Okay then, my bad. Let's put it back in. Let's open it again. Perfect. There, as you can see, I changed the directory of the folder, and now the textures are missing. And if I come into the little material palette at the bottom there should be a tick beside the list on the left hand side which shows um, the materials being used as it shows here there's only a colour material being used and the reason it's gone black and textureless is because this directory here as well uh, when I moved the texture folder it couldn't find the file so the cinema cinema 4D can only track it to that exact directory. So as I've moved it, it's got lost and there's no texture applied. Now to reapply it, all we have to do is to click the button next to it. And as you can see at the bottom, there's a little code. Make sure that code doesn't um, change. Like for instance, if I just click the compressinator, it changes. That will muck it up, just come straight back out start again make sure that that code is there and find your textures directory and before you do this move it to a place you won't want to keep moving it to so keep it somewhere where you want it to stay um, that will save you from doing this over and over and over and that one material should be the match to the code in the bottom and all you have to do is select open and no and it's as simple as that. Um, this is just an easy model, so I'll just save that and show you a more complex one. Let's try uh, the Fable one. Jack of Blaze, I like Jack of Blaze. Right, we'll move to uh, Textures directory, open up the Cinema 4D file the model's textureless and we have multiple materials at the bottom here that's just fine we'll repeat the same process with each one and there's only colors color materials on these ones so we'll do exactly the same thing open it up locate the textures folder and hit open and it should automatically find the material within the folder click no and repeat on the next one enter no enter no it is really really simple um, the more you do it the quicker you become and you can just get to the point where you just open it click enter no click enter no click enter no and do it within five to ten seconds that's how quick it is and obviously that's how easy it is to change the textures but if you've got more complex and more advanced modeling which uses spe specular color normals bumps and alphas then and you're still not sure on how to apply the textures then do um, inbox me um, I will help this is just a quick video um, most of you will get it as it's <laughs> pretty simple but you know it's there's just one one of them models that you'll come across which you will have no clue about and I've come across one of them for you and straighten the recycling bin because you know, even I don't know how to um, 
sort them out. But yeah, just inbox me if you if this tutorial doesn't help you, which I'm sure it will anyway. But I'll help you if you still don't get it. So just make sure you inbox me, and I'll help you from there. And in the meantime, enjoy the next 400 models I've got to upload within a year or so, however long it takes. So hope you enjoy, and man, see you soon.